Now it's Wednesday, December the 8th, uh, and we are in the book of Revelation. Uh, we're in chapter 1, and today I want us to look at verses 9, 10, and 11. And uh, I, John, your brother, uh, John is one of the disciples, uh, the one whom Jesus loved, uh, the friend of Jesus, uh, but here he's just a brother and a partner in the tribulation and the kingdom and the patient endurance that are in Jesus was on the island called Patmos on account of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. Now in verse 10, uh, he says, uh, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Now spirit here uh, with a capital S, uh, it's not that he was in the mood on the Lord's Day, not that kind of spirit, but he was in the Holy Spirit or the Holy Spirit was in him uh, and it was the Lord's Day. And so evidently by the end of the first century, uh, there is uh, uh, a recognition uh, of the Lord's Day as the Christian Sabbath, changing from uh, the last day of the week to the first uh, day of the week to commemorate uh, the resurrection uh, of the Lord Jesus and it had obviously become something fixed in the minds and consciousness uh, of early Christians in the first century uh, to keep the Lord's Day and he was in the spirit on the Lord's Day and he hears a voice like the sound of a trumpet and in verse 11 saying write what you see in a book and send it to the seven churches and he mentions uh, the names of the seven churches it's the book that is now the closing book of the canon uh, that is the scriptures and in this case uh, not not all of scripture comes by dictation uh, Luke for example does a lot of research and he asks eyewitnesses and he visits I think libraries and and uh, records uh, eyewitness testimony and so on and so forth um, but here, John writes what is dictated to him from on high. And as he, uh, as he writes these seven letters, they are letters written by the finger of God and profitable for doctrine, reproof, correction, instruction in the way of righteousness, that the man of God might be thoroughly furnished unto every good work. Well, that's it for today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow to look at another section of chapter 1 of Revelation.